Hello my beautiful and amazing people, badass darks and agents, uncle butcher in the building with out of the box hybrid setup that actually is pretty goddamn badass. Now you're gonna be him, the main character in the game, absolutely nasty, you're gonna clap booty cheeks and on top of that you're gonna boost your teammate damage as well. Overall, this build is absolutely hell of a fun to use and I think you will enjoy it quite a bit. We have multiple DPS sources, survivability is not a problem and you can lead your squad to the victory! If you love what you hear, then welcome to Insanity! Uncle Butcher in the building covering Division 2 basically daily other looter shooters and RPGs as well. So if you want to be updated with all the best PvP, PvE builds, hit that like and smash that sub. And uh, this setup is no exception. This build will work for solo, aka lone wolves, as well for team play style lovers or team runners, I guess, because you are not losing or sacrificing anything by playing this setup in squad and by basically running in solo, because always you will have DPS boost to your skills and your guns, and uh, pretty much that's all she wrote. The main synergy here is that I'm using uh, uh, Overwatch talent with uh, Ouroboros Exotic SMG. Ouroboros Exotic SMG is the hardest hitting SMG in the game right now and I'm using Backpack Talent which as well is giving me weapon damage when I'm behind the cover. So pretty dope stuff, but before we continue, quick word from today's sponsor Deeming.net. If you don't have enough time or good teammates but you still want to have all the best items in your game, then Deeming.net is set for you. They have absolutely amazing team on consoles, they will complete your order super quick. Right now, with my promo code RBDIF, you will have 15% discount on absolutely all services. If you have any questions, don't hesitate. Drop your comment down below in comment section or contact the operator. But now, let's get back to a new hybrid build for legendary stronghold runs or even heroic missions. You can use definitely this build for heroic runs because we have Stinger Hive for crowd control purposes and we have Assault Road, which is the best skill for legendary runs, period. It's absolutely nasty. It has a ridiculous amount of health and deals the best DPS output in the game for our skill. So, really, really good combination. And we need Stinger Hive because by destroying our Stinger Hive, we will proc beat you to exotic gloves and we will gain overcharge, or we will get Assault to Red instantly back when it will die or will be destroyed. For specialization here we are using technician to gain additional skill tier and of course skill damage and disrupt grenades which are extremely handy on legendary stronghold runs against robotics such as dogs, mini tanks, healing stations and shenanigans like that will be wiped. Stinger Hive is absolutely must have for this build because it can take care of annoying drones pretty easily. DPS output is absolutely nasty and as you see we are wiping enemy after enemy after enemy. For the guns though you have a couple options. First of all I would recommend you to use Ouroboros Exotic SMG because it is one of the best DPS weapons in the game right now. Definitely the best SMG in the game right now. So when we will be under cover or behind the cover, we will gain overwatch buff and backpack damage buff as well. So we have 15% extra damage from backpack talent, 12% additional weapon damage from overwatch talent. Now we have 15% weapon damage buff from Picaro's name at holster as well. 
and we have one red core attribute and Walken Harris will give us additional 5% weapon damage. So DPS wise this setup is actually really decent with Ouroboros Exotic SMG. For second weapon you can use whatever weapon you want. I'm using Assault Rifle with perfect uh, um, stabilize talent because I can nail those headshots across the map with that weapon for the pistol I'm using TDI name it pistol within sync you can use whatever pistol within sync or uh, maybe preservation talent for additional survivability but uh, if you will be short on ammo make sure that in your backpack you have pistol within sync talent not lose any skill damage for mask I'm using Bella Stone armory mask which will give me 1% armor again. I'm using Wyvern chest piece which will give me skill damage and I'm using Overwatch talent really good for solo players, new player friendly talent as well, really good in teams, actually best uh, talent to use in teams but if you want maximum possible DPS of course use glass cannon talent. Glass cannon will give you the best possible DPS output in the game in skill build or in typical DPS setup doesn't matter glass cannon will always outperform other talents other DPS talents such like kinetic momentum overwatch spark things like that so even spotter so yeah definitely glass cannon is the best DPS output so if you're a seasoned player go with glass cannon for new players overwatch will be the way to go and for team runs definitely overwatch is the way to go must have in my eyes for holster i'm using picaro's name and holster which will give me skill haste and of course additional 50 percent extra weapon damage my attributes are not perfect on the mask you're looking for armor again and of course skill damage the same story on the chest piece armor again skill damage on holster i have armor again but in perfect world i would use picaro's holster with skill damage and weapon damage on backpack the same story armor again and skill damage well skill damage is kind of must have everywhere armor again is nice to have so uh, as second tier attribute if you don't have armor again, don't worry, it is what it is. For a bit, this I'm using uh, as my gloves and a little dirty secret BTC exotic gloves. We're gonna proc overcharge by destroying hive. And second piece from Bellastone Armory will give us 10% armor on kill, which works with your skill kills as well. Butcher drops the mic. Stay safe, love you all, bye.